two MLU insiders, bringing you hard analysis of everything that happens on the field. This is the John and Greg Show. How's it going? This is John Phillips here with Greg Fallon for this December edition of the John and Greg Show. Greg, good to see you. Good to see you too. It's been a while. Yeah. And this is, uh, this is our first video podcast. So hopefully, if, if everything goes if according everything to plan. If everything works. Uh, yeah. This, this light that we're using is incredibly bright. Super bright. I have never been on this side of that light before. I I'm... feel so bad for everyone who's on TV <laughs> on a daily basis. Everyone, Their eyes must hurt so Everyone much. I interview with this is probably like, now you know. Now you get it. I think what it comes down to is we just need to get more tan, right? Because then it would not have to be as bright. I have a weak uh, understanding no, of lighting. I think lighting. actually it's the opposite. Oh. So uh, we need that if your skin is pale. darker, you need more light. Oh, so we need right. to spend more time inside. Okay. Which, I mean, it's December, so I'm probably going to be doing a good bit of that. Okay, well, that's Winter good. Winter League's coming up. They're in they're, Those uh, leagues are inside, so... Uh, and in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere, yeah, in weird turf centers. Oh, at least it's turf. Cause, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I picture... Oh, oh basket, like on basketball courts, you think? That's what oh, I... Oh, that's I've, terrible. No, I've done that. That's I've awful. Heard, I've heard of it. <laughs> it is not fun. My friend, Brian Boyle, he's um, in Ireland. He's the head of a few of the things there, which is cool. Um, he played for Trinity. And he his pictures from like their winter league which goes on forever because it's always raining and it's always cold there <laughs> sounds like seattle it, it, it worse um because it's also windy outside it's just terrible but they play on basketball courts almost all the time i just feel like that would yeah, be unproductive I, I practiced on basketball i practiced on basketball courts in the winter in college and it was the worst <laughs> just about the worst and then the year after i graduated from temple they replaced the basketball court we practiced on with a turf gym oh, of course <laughs> which is fantastic i've been back a couple times for uh, alumni events, and it's it's really, really nice. Uh, turf, definitely much better. Yeah, I'm trying to sneak the high school kids that I coach onto Penn's turf, like, before pickup. Oh, uh, yeah. Park. Well, yeah. now the bubble's up. The Penn right, bubble. Exactly. If any of you out there live in Philly, you know that the Penn bubble is a, is a, is a fun uh, fun thing over at Penn. They put it over the, the field at Penn Park, where uh, the spinners had their original tryouts. Right, a long time ago. Yeah, and their second season tryouts in the bubble. That was the only time I've ever been in the bubble, and it's a fantastic facility. It's really great. I like it a lot, but, you know, I will be not participating in any Winter Ultimate. <laughs> I'm I'm biking to work these days, and I feel like that's just that's like... My, that might be enough of a... Destroy, oh, yeah. no, it's just destroyed my back. I feel like oh, I'm God. 50 or 60 years old. Oof. So, well, <laughs> that's rough. But hats off to you, Greg. Thank you. <laughs> it, uh, it's good to be back. I think uh, everybody out there listening can say that they're... I hope they're happy to have us back. Uh, yeah. Hopefully the the first of many uh, great uh, great shows this year. We're starting a lot earlier than we did last year, which uh, I'm excited about. Got some fun stuff to announce about Combine Tour this year. Yeah. Uh, our plans for that coming up in the second segment, of, or I guess really the first segment, since this is kind of a, an intro segment, uh, yeah. which we're kind of toying around with a little banter to take a, take a little bit from our friends at Cleats and Cufflinks. Yeah. We use the same studio. For and, the time being. Yeah, and we also told Nick that there's no, you know, copyright on banters. Yeah, we Everybody did. Actually, like 20 minutes ago, we so, said that, yeah. <laughs> so I don't think that we should feel that bad about yeah. doing this. Yeah. But, yeah, then we'll bring on um, Billy, who's a... Billy Sickles from the MLU office went up to the uh, New York Rumble tryouts right. uh, that we were not able to attend uh, last weekend. Mostly because it was it's pouring rain. And we were going to yeah. try and record there, and there were just a yeah, lot of It would reasons. have been a, a kind of a mess. But he's going to tell us about how it went, what he saw, um, his experience with the tryout, which is going to be a lot of fun to talk about. Which is a different side of the coin than we'll have even once we're out on the road. Because Yeah, I don't play when I go the... to these things. I, I, I uh, <laughs> you know, talk to people and watch and, uh, you know. To do do my job. Yeah, but, I feel like playing would just add a whole other element. Billy, but... Billy's role allows him some free time for, for stuff like that. When he goes to these events, he doesn't really have to hold a camera and record and interview people. He can go and, you know, play and get involved in the tryout in that, uh, that way. So we'll talk to him in the third segment of the show. And then our fourth segment today is, I'm excited for, yeah. uh, top five underrated players in the MLU that we should talk about more. We're going to bring in uh, our buddy Luke Ryan for that segment. Yeah, it's been, I feel like, in, when I picture him, I just picture this cave that him and Tim are working yeah. under to build. It's not really a cave. It's kind of a large open room where everybody else is still working to. Uh, it's an interesting dynamic. I don't know how they, it's more like a corner, actually. This, That's true. This, here's, the, here's the room, and then here's them. Right. And then everybody else kind of, like, mills around them. 
But I'm sure he's been doing impressive stuff. But have oh yeah, they've got stuff. lots of fun stuff planned. Uh, hopefully, uh, fantasy that that could be huge. Uh, that's a whole new segment. If we do have a, a viable fantasy app, that's you know awesome. We will definitely have a segment about fantasy ultimate on our show. Oh yeah, and I'm looking forward to that. I really wanted to do that last year. Yeah, I know that when Jeff, yeah, anyone that saw their you know their piece on Reddit. You know, Jeff and Nick do, did a great job, you know, answering questions for for a few hours last week. You know, when he brought up the Fantasy Ultimate stuff, that got my heartbeat going. Yeah, people bit. people seem to uh, to take that well. Um, do you want to jump right into it, or do you want to talk a little Eagles? A little talk, NFL. Let's talk I know a little. This is, I know this is a Frisbee show, and we, we advertise ourselves as a Frisbee show, but we're both huge Eagles fans, and the Eagles lost yesterday, and that makes me upset. And I'll, I'll, make, it, I'll make it Frisbee-centric. Okay. We'll go this way. So, you know, Isaac Saul, who New York Rumble player. Big he, Washington, uh, huge, Washington fan. Huge Washington Redskins fan. He, he had a comment after the game yesterday on Facebook about how, you know, it's a very Philadelphian thing to do to just complain about referees following a contest. And to that, I say, yeah, of course it is. But that's also just like a sports fan thing. <laughs> it's a sports thing fan thing. It's a sports and thing. And also... It's impossible if he was not a Redskins fan, if he didn't have hatred for for all things the Eagles, Eagles yeah. in his blood. You know, any like non biased person sitting and watching, and like I, I don't get as into you know these these fandom pieces as most people do. I don't yell at people who are the fan who are fans of Giants, or the, the Redskins, or the Cowboys, even the Cowboys. You know, I'm I try and be as unbiased as possible, but man. That was just horrific. <laughs> it was, you know, I, I will say this. I've never actually believed officials cost a team a game, especially in professional sports. Oh, no. In lower levels of sports, I've seen some pretty awful officiating. Um, that has maybe cost a team a game or two. Probably my team. Right. Uh, but in professional sports, it, I almost always believe that, you know, bad calls go both ways, and you never really can blame a loss on refereeing. And I don't think that you can in this game either, but yeah. I do think the officiating was terrible. Yeah. I will say that I think the officiating was awful. And it just puts a damper. Like I, I know how difficult it is. It, it's like in in ultimate in in you know non referee disc when another team is just calling foul after foul after foul uh, and, you're, and you're trying to be the classier you know team. Yeah, I don't think Chip Kelly was really trying to be uh, be classy with his reactions. He was uh, trying to be classy, but he like was that, very very upset. That frustration is just, yeah. It's it's hard to to again bring it back to frisbee. I was coaching you know my guys against. Columbia, who, you know, famed program. Very, right? very famous program. And, you know, the amount of fouls that they called in just tough situations was ridiculous. And we ended up losing the game on, on a few ticky tech things. I mean, they were a better team. But later on, SLA, who's a Philly team, again, it's two Philly coaches. Um, you know, Chris Lehman, he's their coach. He said, you know, I just can't let those guys get under my boy's skin because all of his kids are from Philly. They have that blood in them. They don't like uh, they don't like fouls. No, they, they, it's just like when another team or any other outside force is coming at you, it's so hard to yeah. not let that affect it's, you. Yeah, it's play. tough. Um, but we march on as Eagle fans. I'm very excited for next weekend. Yeah, uh, I'm confident, but I'm not even worried about next uh, week. This is this is my Super Bowl. Is, you know, you you try to be very unbiased, very oh no, very gracious towards the Redskins, uh, uh, Giants, Cowboys fans. I. I, this is the only true sports rivalry I get into anymore, and I get really into it. I do not like the Cowboys at all, and I'll be in the stadium, and I'm not planning on sitting down at all. Uh, I'm very excited. That's what we need. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're going down to that game, you maybe see me? I yeah. Know. I'll be there. <laughs> but the day before, hopefully, if all things go according to plan, we'll be up in New York for the yeah. first of our combine stops. Yeah. Of the season. 